thing, and this is literally straying even further away. You yes. talk about being upset. Harambe, who is uh, the gorilla that yeah. was killed at the Rest Cincinnati Zoo. You, you on Twitter talk about caring so much about him you, that the life meant so much. The Cincinnati Zoo has come out and asked people to stop using memes, and you've, you've used a lot of memes in social media. How is that respecting Harambe by doing yeah. that when they're asking to stop in order to honor him? Sure. So as a sort of moonlighting scientist, you know, I, I work a lot with non-human primates. We call them in the labs NHPs. So any rhesus monkeys, capuchins, all the way up to the higher order species. Um, I, I have, uh, my brother and I especially, uh, have this deep fondness for, for animals uh, that are so close to humans, uh, so remarkably close. In fact, there are bonobos that can even communicate with you on a one-to-one -one level and tell jokes and be sarcastic and funny and even flirt with you. It's unbelievable how human-like these creatures are. And the idea that we just shot this animal in cold blood and we don't have to debate, you know, whether or not that was a good idea. To but save a child is, is the argument. Yeah, just is to, the if argument. you're you know, going to say we, you shot him in cold blood, to save, save a child, a child. To that be, was... To be honest, that. it's painful to even talk about this. But let's, uh, let's get back to the issue, which is that in, in this country, I don't think we value non-human primate life um, the way we should. I think these animals actually should have rights believe it or not. And but if they did, Martin, they wouldn't be able to be used in the pharmaceutical industry, which I don't is what think you they were should talking be. about. I don't think they should be. You know, I, I do a lot of animals. I've, I've, I've overseen the death of thousands of these animals, uh, uh, whether they be dogs or, or, or rats, and many times non-human Wow, you, you, you've overseen Absolutely. the death Every of these single animals? pharmaceutical yeah. executive has. Uh, Pfizer probably kills a million animals a year. And it's painful. You know, if that doesn't eat at you, you know, I don't know what will. When and you talk about that, it feels like it is very, it's a moral decision. It's, it's how you feel morally. And yet when you talk about drug prices, when we were talking earlier, and, and I know you're saying it should go to the insurance companies, it's, it's up to the insurance companies, but why not have that same moral compassion for the way the system I is have, right now? I have now? more moral compassion. You know, I mean, uh, I think that uh, there's a lot of, there's, for instance, 7,000 rare diseases. There's only five or six companies in the world that care about those diseases. The Pfizer's, the Merck's, the AstraZeneca's, they care about the big sellers. But there's dying kids, friends of mine, like the Colzer brothers, three kids with pecan. I invented the first drug ever for pecan. And these three kids, they are staring at their death sentence. They're teenagers. And uh, I'm fighting my butt off to, to save them. Uh, and I need money to do that. Investors don't care for these little diseases and so forth. So I think I have a lot more compassion than most people think. That's why I'm in the drug business. But at the same time, uh, non-human primates are, are kind of these pretty precious animals. And that's why we care so much about Harambe. You know, this, this is, uh, he's, he's so human-like and, and so, so close to, to our hearts that, um, you know, I, I, I think we should honor his memory. And this is a good time for activists to, to think harder about, you know, should anim some animals have rights. So are you, are you going to stop memeing Harambe? I think I'm trying, what I'm trying to do, no, is a short answer. But what I'm trying to do is, is elevate the respect we have for, for these animals. They are, they are truly our cousins. Uh, and you can see that in their eyes. And to me, the, um, the idea that we're, we're going to bring in these animals into our world as, as peers, I think is a good thing. All right, Martin Shkreli, thanks so much for stopping by appreciate and answering our you. questions. We appreciate My it. My pleasure.